What is up, Sac Town? City of Sacramento. Big shout out to the 916. We're riding the Harley Davidson Sportster, the XL 1200R. Just having a grand old time. Here to make more and new memories with the Harley Davidson. HD's back here on the channel. <laughs> the puppers. Uh, but guys, the Harley Davidson is back. I, I didn't even bother to ask. Uh, if you've been a, a fan of the channel in the past, then first of all, thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you for being here. Uh, second of all, did you see this coming? Did any of you see this coming? The, 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 the Harley Sportster is back uh, in the garage. Now, obviously, I've never had a Sportster on the channel. Uh, I've test ridden them. Uh, and we have shown pictures of the old 883R. This is the 1200R. Uh, but we've shown pictures on the channel of the bike. And, uh, but this is, this is the first full dosage that you guys are getting of the Sportster here on the channel. Uh, if you guys know who I am, I am that one guy. Uh, I am five foot six. I have a 30 inch inseam. And this bike has always just felt like, like just such a great fit for me. Uh, if you've watched the channel in the past, uh, when I did have a Harley, I had a 2013 Dyna Fat Bob. That bike was a stretch. Uh, I did have to put the reduced reach uh, con foot control kit on there. And uh, it was a stretch. It was always a stretch. Uh, it had the forward controls on it and you know, we made it work and it was still a comfortable ride. I was never uncomfortable on the bike. Uh, never could flat foot it, but I was, I was never overwhelmed even though that bike weighed almost 700 pounds. I was never overwhelmed by that bike. And uh, this bike, uh, even though it, it comes in at, at 500 something pounds, I'll, I'll put the statistic here on the screen so you guys can see it. Uh, not overwhelming to any extent. And uh, you know, it, it's nice because now on my, my KTM uh, 1290 Super Duke R, if I want to move the bike uh, with, with, without the bike being on, if I have to move it backwards or, or if I want to make, if I have to move it in a tight turn, I've got to get off the bike. It's, it's just too tall. I, I, my tiptoeing can't really maneuver the bike, but this bike I can move over just fine. We've got the mid controls here for my feet. Uh, this bike even has the front controls, <laughs> which uh, for me, it's a little bit of a reach. It takes me back to when I had my, my fat bob, but holy crap, these, uh, these front pegs are attached to the frame and it's just shaking the crap out of my feet. So yeah, those pegs might leave. I might keep the, the engine guard uh, just for, uh, because I think it looks good. You know, there's a lot of chrome on this bike and it, I feel like it, it goes well. Uh, and this bike with, if everything falls into place nicely and my wife actually was even okay with it, we're gonna try and get that one gal uh, in the future for this to be her bike. And really the engine guards are gonna be a perfect thing for her. She's, you know, one of her, like one of her worst nightmares, I guess when she thinks about the fact that she wants to ride in the future is dropping the bike and having to break her leg, right? I think that's that's a fair thing. But uh, the engine guards are going to help her. It's just a little security blanket, even though I, you know, everyone's gonna drop their bike once. So just knowing that that's gonna be there as a safety precaution, it's gonna help her out. Hopefully it's gonna get her wanting to ride up sooner than later. And uh, you know, if you've got a spouse, a girlfriend, a friend uh, that you want to get riding, uh, you know, you know, you can't, you can't pressure them into doing it. They've got to want to do it themselves. So she wants to. There's just a lot of things that, that we've got to, we've got a, a lot of hurdles to jump over, a lot of hoops to, to jump through before we can get her there. But this is, this is one step closer. And I've got a freaking ridiculous uh, deal on this bike and I, I'm just so excited to start new adventures and uh, get this thing out there. 
ride it around. You know, we are doing the one take with that one guy. Leave it in the in the comments if you want me to take this bike uh, on one take uh, with that one guy adventures. And you know, the the the, the mileage on this bike, uh, the per mileage on the the Sportster isn't as good as the the 1290. So we probably can't go as far, but we can still take it places in. And you guys leave it in the comments. Let me know if you guys want the. The Sportster 1200R to be a part of uh, the channel's one tank uh, with that one guy. Uh, the other thing is, right, the, the, it's the 1200R. It's almost like R is becoming part of the brand. That one, if we can start calling this channel that one guy R. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible idea. It really is. It almost sounds like I'm a pirate. You get it? The, that one guy R. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Just wanted to throw this video out here as we drive by Sacramento, drive through Sacramento. Got the old uh, the old barn over there. Old Arco Arena over here in old, in old Natomas. Oh, I can't even see it. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there with the like button. And if you haven't already, just smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric. I'm that one guy. And I am out.